Hey guys, it's Dr. Sharun here, and you are welcome to our channel, which is called Need Buddy, where we bring you daily daily bio gems so that before the upcoming Need exam, you will have a good practice and a good speed, so that you can crack the Need exam easily. And that's what we are going to do today. Today also, we are going to provide you with daily bio gems for your practice. So without wasting much time, let's get started. Question number three. DDT reduces R rapidly passed through food chain causing biomagnification because DDT is moderately toxic, non-toxic to aquatic animals, water soluble, lipid soluble. The correct answer is option 4. DDT is lipid soluble. Question number 40. A lake near village suffered heavy mortality of fishes within a few days. Consider the following reasons for this. Lot of urea and phosphate fertilizers were used in crops in the vicinity. The area had been sprayed with DDT in an aircraft. The lake water turned green and stinky. The phytoplankton population in the lake declined initially, thereby greatly reducing photosynthesis. Which one of the above or which two of the above were the main causes for fish mortality in the lake? Correct answer is option 4, A and C. So they are asking that in a village, the nearby pond was there in which fishes were initially living. Now, which of the following four reasons could have been possible for the sudden heavy mortality of the fishes? The correct answer is statement A and C. Lot of urea and phosphate fertilizers were used in the crops in the vicinity. Now, when urea and fertilizers were used in the crops in the vicinity, that is in the village, the water that was put over the urea and fertilizers over the crops got washed away and they flowed to the river or the pond and resulted in increased urea and phosphate over there. Now, when the urea and phosphate is increased, what will happen? Organisms will grow in water. What will they do? They will eat away the oxygen. They will use all the oxygen present over there, resulting in decreased oxygen in water, mortality of fishes. Statement C is also correct. The lake water turned green and stinky because of the excess of growth of the algae. Question number 60. Most animals that live in deep oceanic waters are detritivores, primary consumers, secondary consumers, tertiary consumers. The correct answer is option 1, detritivores. Question number 83. Which one of the following types of organism occupy more than one trophic level in a pond ecosystem? Fish, zooplankton, frog or phytoplankton? The correct answer is option 1. Fish occupies more than one trophic level in a pond ecosystem. Question number 55. The structures that are formed by stacking of organized flattened Membranous sacs in a chloroplast are granum, stromal lamellae, stroma or cristae. Correct answer is option A, grana. Question number 74. Typical growth curve in plants is linear, steer, step shaped, parabolic, sigmoid. Typical growth curve in plants is Correct answer is option D. It is sigmoid in shape. Question number 91. Which of the following is not an accessory pigment? Chlorophyll A, chlorophyll B, xanthophyll or carotenoid. Not an accessory pigment. The correct answer is option A. Chlorophyll A is not an accessory pigment. Question number 38. Change in number of body parts is called continuous variation, discontinuous variation, meristic variation or substantive variation. Change in number of body parts is called. Correct answer is option C, meristic variation. Question number 58. A segment of DNA has 120 adenine and 120 cytosine bases. The total number of nucleotides present in the segment is 60, 240, 120, 480. 
The correct answer is option D, 480. Question number 90. The genotype of a plant showing dominant phenotype can be determined by test cross, dihybrid cross, pedigree analysis, back cross. Correct answer is option A, test cross. Question number 95. A pleiotropic gene controls multiple traits in an individual, is expressed only in primitive plants, is a gene evolved during Pliocene, controls a trait only in combination with another gene. The correct answer is option A. It controls multiple traits in an individual. Question number 29. An improved variety of transgenic rice does not require chemical fertilizer and growth hormone, gives high yield and is rich in vitamin A, is completely resistant to all insects, pests and disease of paddy, gives high yield but no characteristic atoms. The correct answer is option 2 that is gives high yield and is rich in vitamin A. Another type of question that is asked over in transgenic rice is in developing countries there is very common occurrence of night blindness. So which of the following would you advise or which of the following would be, should be adopted by the developing countries so as to solve the problem of night blindness and in the options one of the option would be golden rice so in the, that case you need to know two things first night blindness is caused because of deficiency of vitamin A and second the golden rice is a transgenic variety of rice which is rich in vitamin A right in that case you would be knowing that if vitamin A rich golden rice is given then the problem of night blindness can be overcome. So that is another type of question that is asked from golden rice. Question number 36. Breeding of crops with high level of minerals, vitamins and proteins is called somatic hybridization, biofortification, biomagnification, micropropagation. The correct answer is option 2, biofortification. In sea urchins, DNA, which is double stranded, 17% of bases are shown to be cytosine. The percentage of other bases expected to be present in this DNA are different percentages of the bases have been given. You have to tell which of the options gives the correct percentage of different bases. So the correct answer is option 2, guanine 17%, adenine 33%, thymine 33%. Now how to derive this, how to get to this answer? When they are giving answer in percentages, it means you have to consider the total basis as 100. So out of those 100 bases, 17 is cytosine. 17 cytosine will pair with 17, guanine, right? So 17, 17, 34, that is gone. Now what remains is uh, total of 66% of the 66%, half will go to adenine, half will go to thymine, right? So option 2 is correct, 17% guanine, 33% adenine, 33% thymine. Question number 78. Which one of the following pairs of animals comprises of jawless fishes? Option A. Mackerel and Rohu. Option B. Lamprey and Hackfishes. Option C. Gumpies and Hackfishes. Or Option D. Lampreys and Eels. Jawless fishes. Correct answer is Option B. Lamprey and Hackfishes. So those are the MCQs for today. I'll see you guys again tomorrow with another set of MCQs. Till then, all the best and keep working hard. Do like and share this video if you find it helpful. And if you are new out there, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thank you guys for watching. Bye-bye.